Welcome back guys to a brand new video now today we are going to be talking all about the different like uh, combinations and stuff that's going to be in Ark Survival Evolved. We obviously already talked about this in yesterday's video but the main thing we're talking about today is what this links to and it is the actual armor for maybe your character but also your dinos. Now there was a leak recently which we did talk about about a month ago and we didn't really know what it was on the Rex and it all kind of makes sense now. And I just wanted to piece this together you guys, for you guys in a video today and I hope it does help you um, or just hope you out of your Arc 2 news. And if it does, make sure to smash that like button. It supports the channel so, so much. Subscribe if you're new around here and let's get in with today's video. So obviously I won't go through this too much just because you guys would have seen this already. Um, but we basically got the shield bearer set, which is the survivor. We got the uh, Aratai set, which is going to be like the NPCs. And we got the scrap metal set, which is what links today's video. Now below is all the different common, uh, I did this in the last video, combinations <laughs> um, that you're going to be able to do with your swords with any of the shields from above. Um, so some really, really cool ones here about the way you can actually create your, your weapons the way you want to. You know, it doesn't always have to be anything the same. Just like, you know, you make a sword, you make a, 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 anything you make in Arc, just Arc 1 looks exactly the same. And that's what Wildcard want to want to get away from. They want everyone to be able to use their imagination and create what they want. Which is what I mentioned in the other video. It gives me that sort of Dead Island type, type of game, you know, where you can craft things and make it really what you want. And I think that's great in art. Now, we had a leaked photo of a Rex a while ago. And it looked like the Rex from the trailer, um, which has its like sort of cloth armor on or something like that. But it also leaked a photo of what looked like at the beginning that it was like a broken tech kind of armor on a Rex. Now, a lot of people said it did look like scrap metal. And this kind of does confirm that the scrap metal is going to play a big part in Arc 2. And I am actually what I'm going to be doing is leaving you guys with the video on the leak, which this will all sort of piece together with that video, if it makes sense. So that video, we kind of didn't, didn't have a massive clue what was going on. So everything we've talked about here will sort of piece together what you see in this part of the video. And I thought it'd be good to make, you know, this kind of creates one big whole video to make everything make sense in how the customization is going to work in this second game. So not only is it going to be weapons and everything, it's going to be armor, it's going to be dino armor. And that's what makes me so excited for the future of this game. And I just, the, even this being the tiniest things, the customization is so, so cool. So enjoy the rest of it, guys. It will all make sense when you watch it. If you've already seen it, then it will already make sense to, uh, to you guys anyway. Enjoy the rest of the video. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Now, actually, one thing I wanted to add is I'm sure the stuff I'm about to show could come to a community crunch in the future. But if Wildcard already know this has been leaked, then they may just talk about it. They may not make it a massive thing in the crunch, or they might still do. You never know. As you can see, um, this post was posted by Concept Labs on Twitter saying, we're proud to showcase our recent hashtag 3D modeling work for at Survive the Ark 2. What do you think of our Rex? So then we obviously took a little closer look at some of this. And what you'll actually notice from this 3D model is this was the old school one from um, the, the trailer we got back in uh, last June. So like when we saw this, it was still cool to see because, you know, you see a tribe flag there. You see all that other stuff. You see the diner armor. It looks like some sort of hide leather type armor. And then the one that every like sort of shocked the whole community was this one. So as you can see on the dino, there's going to be no tech in Arc 2. But what a lot of the community have been talking about is all of the tech scrap that could be falling from the lands from the previous arcs of the explosions of the planets, everything like that. This could be the remainder of some of the armor that you could go through and build. Now, this tweet that uh, was posted was a about an hour or so later taken down. Um, so I'm guessing that um, Studio Wildcard asked this to be taken down. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm 
I, I feel I don't feel like it's like the biggest thing. I'm not sure why Wildcard couldn't have just like showed us this uh, themselves, but um, you know, because it's not like we've seen hidden gameplay or something like that. But I'm guessing they had some sort of like thing with this creator to say don't post any of this stuff. I don't know. I'm surprised because if there was something there, you would be. I'd be very surprised to think why they would tweet it anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so that has been taken down now. But it, I think it looks so so cool. This Dino armor on the Rex there and. Um, I just can't wait for it. And I know you guys are exactly the same. And it all links to this. Um, when we read through this, this was the, uh, the the information we know. It still says coming soon, by the way, on the release date, which is slightly worrying because it was 2023 before that. Um, but when we go through some of the, um, you know, uh, features that are coming to Arc 2. So we've got, um, obviously modding going to be amazing fully stackable user created mods for new creatures items gameplay features maps are now d distributed across all platforms um all, along with mods uh support for mod modded unofficial servers this is just going to make console console players lives amazing once you play the the normal version of arc which you guys on console have done you know the vanilla version and you actually get a taste at having like you can change up all your servers with creatures that people just decide to create if you want godzilla in your game you can have godzilla in your game if you want crazy new items from the avengers film you can have it that's what's so amazing about the uh, modding coming to console um but then, uh, so uh, third only, uh, third person only gameplay mode, which again, I know some people have their uh, opinions on. Um, and I know a lot of the, even the dev team had their opinion on it, but they said they feel like it's going to be something so exciting that they even have got to love. Um, and then obviously the souls like melee combat again has been 50 50 with the community. Um, massive new alien environment, explore a mysterious chaotic world um, where. Um, native flora, uh, flora and fauna are being overrun by invasive primeval creatures from an extinct earth so this could obviously give a hint to maybe some of the old earths or some of the old um, places where there was tech before has landed and you can construct this using uh, armor for your dino um, and then component based item crafting construct your weapons and tools from a range of distinct modules to customize their look and functionality millions of possible combinations enable you to craft your own unique gear um, the specific materials you will choose will further affect the appearance of your items with multiple options of resources found in unique regions of the world. So again, that links massively to all the different resources that you can to customize and create with your dino um and i mean i'm guessing old tech could potentially now be confirmed as one of these uh these things that you can use which is cool i would definitely not have the abilities of that which i know everyone's very happy about but it's still very similar stuff um so i mean i'm looking forward to just seeing what other stuff you i mean the idea of how you can customize the anything's look the way you actually want i feel like just opens up the game so much more because obviously in the past you just have to have i know you can paint things on the current arc but you just have to stick to what armor the game gives you or what weapons the game gives you and now you're going to be able to craft anything you want in any way um and then dynamic world events, natural and unnatural occurrences are always happening across the game world, independent of your presence. Your choices in deciding whether to interact with these events will yield rewards or challenges. This could also cause maybe things flying across the map, flying through the map, creating and, and like maybe you'll be um, chilling in your base one day and then some like world event happens near you. And then, may, you know, maybe there's like a big wind, a big storm or something. And it could like th you could wake you could wake up the next day, go outside and, you know, there could be something you could use to build with. That's obviously another possible thing. Um Again, the NPCs that are going to join us, the Arati, um, and then the um, template building and sharing. So you're going to be able to build um, uh, like anything can be able to actually use it as a template and then build it straight away again. So you're not going to have to literally keep rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding, which is insane. Um, you know, on, uh, animals are now more intelligent. They now track and hunt by sight, sound and smell, which again, these dinos in Arc 1 needed this so much. Character progression and skill system gain both experience points from gameplay and knowledge points by accomplishing key objectives and overcoming unique challenges to progress along a massive skill tree filled with new active abilities perks and massive benefits and then the final one is the full utilization of un 
Unreal Engine 5's technology. That's going to be coming to Arc 1 as well. Both of the games are going to look so, so great. So even if you are a PlayStation player that's not going to be moving on to Arc 2 and you're not going to be going on to a PC or Xbox to try it out, at least on PlayStation, you'll be able to check out and play Arc in Unreal Engine 5 technology, which is absolutely amazing. So guys, let me know what you think of these leaks that were posted on Twitter. Do you like the different dino designs? Are you looking forward to the way you're going to be able to customize all of your dinos in any way that you want? Make sure to let me know because we are in for some crazy times in Arc 2. Some of it sounds too good to be true. Some of and, and if they manage to pull it off, I think this could probably break the internet how good this game could potentially be. I know you guys might be thinking, oh, Dom's an Arc YouTuber, he's just saying that, but I generally believe when I read through it, I've never, you know, when I read through this for the first time, it felt like it was gonna, and I know games sometimes overpromise, but I, I have a good feeling about this and I cannot wait. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon.